Hi everybody, it's Jody. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a plan with me and my Recollections Vertical Planner from the week of May 3rd to the 9th. I'm going to be using this stunning kit from Simply Beautiful Plans. It is the May Mystery Kit and it is gorgeous. It's foiled in rose gold. First I'll show you my freebie. You can get this by putting Jody Cake in notes for 15% off and uh, or sorry, Jody Cake you can use the discount code and then put uh, Jodia notes for seller. These are the components that come to the kit. Um, a little bit of an accent. They're called Amy's favorites. There's always some date numbers. This is a little bit of deco that I picked up a $2 Tuesday sheet to go with the kit. And this is the actual body of the kit now is there's a freebie, which is um, a really nice scalloped um, washi that could go on the top of the spread. I know Amy, uh, who owns a shop, uses that. Then there's some deco pieces with extra boxes. And here's your bottom washi. And that one is made for the new Erin Condren planner because it's wider at the bottom. Um, then, of course, the uh, headers. And now here is the kit. It is absolutely gorgeous. I am in love with it. The full boxes are stunning. Um, now the next page is some headers and some icons, a weekend banner and some flags. This page I don't usually use except for the little boxes on the bottom, the quarter boxes. Um, so this page has some washi chunks, your checklists and some functionals. And then this page has your sidebar boxes, your Monday to Sunday and some more deco. And then your box sheet and then a beautiful deco sheet. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. Amy does the best deco sheets. And then there's the bottom washi. It's in two strips. It is absolutely gorgeous and the date covers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly speed through, play some music, put down the headers, and um, then I'll come back and we'll get into the day by day. to go ahead and put the bottom washi in. I hope that my, um, I'm using a headphone, well, um, a little microphone today, just from my iPad, and I'm hoping that the sound is a little bit better. Last week it was absolutely terrible, and I apologize for that. Um, if this doesn't work, I'd only want to do this voiceover once. I'm, I don't find, 
I'm more um, as free flowing um, if I do a second tape. Um, so hopefully this sounds good. And if it isn't, then I will uh, figure out something better for next week. And uh, so that water bottom washi is absolutely beautiful. I love how it looks laid down. Um, I Usually I um, have a hard time doing both strips of washi. With this Recollections Planner, it's not as... Um, the space isn't as big at the bottom. So sometimes I have to put the bottom part down first and then layer the top strip on top of that. But I didn't need to do that this time. They fit perfectly. So how have everybody been doing? Um, it's been a little bit chilly here in Canada. This week is going to be gorgeous. It's going to be uh, up in the 70s again. So that will be nice. Um, it was a little bit chilly last week. So um, I'm not sure. How do you like these talk throughs? Would you or would you rather me being like a chitty chatty talk through or would you rather have me do these voiceovers? I'm kind of torn. I like the idea of chatting and talking through. But I suppose I can still do this on the voiceovers. But um, let me know what you think, um, whether it's impersonal or whether you prefer it this way. So I'm going to go ahead and do my sidebar now. And I'm just looking to see what stickers I'm going to do. They're so all so pretty. I just, uh, I love them. It's a hard choice. So I'm going to use the Hello Spring. I'm just counting down um, with the dots. It's kind of like a bullet journal, so it um, makes it really easy to uh, lay down the stickers and get them straight because we all struggle with the straightness in the stickers in the sidebar. <laughs> so now I'm going to lay down the full boxes and the rest of the spread and then I'll come back to the sidebar after. I love this double box. It's got the bird, um, the the nest in it, in the scene, and it is so pretty. And uh, it's been a huge birding week uh, here in our in our little household, in our property. Uh, my husband and I are huge bird lovers, and we take photographs of them a lot. And uh, we feed them um, all summer and winter and keep the... the um, them coming back for more so um, a lot of the birds came back to the feeders from down south you'll see that as I mark them going through but the gang's all here and they brought their friends so the feeders are just hopping right now it's uh, I'm filling them five times a day so it's a full-time job it's a good thing I don't work out of the house <laughs> but I love them and uh, of course along with the birds come the squirrels and uh, they've been quite active at the feeders as well so I'm struggling with that but you know, they're wildlife and we love them all. So uh, I told my husband we're going to get a sign for the house and I'm going to call it the aviary because there's all we do is feed birds. <laughs> so um, anyway, look at this little box with the hedgehog. It is so cute. It's so sweet. Amy does the most fun kits. They're, they're a combination between um, elegant and playful. So, uh, you know, she always just, she always knocks it out of the ballpark with the kits. So I'm going to put the fashion girl up here. And uh, she doesn't do too many fashion girls in her kits, so when you see one, it's it's quite off, not odd, but it's um, it's special in a kit. She doesn't do them that often. So I'm just going to finish laying these down, and then I'm going to get in the sidebar. And uh, I've paired this week with a ton of rose gold foil. You know me; if you watch my videos, you know that I love. Uh, my foil and my spreads and I'm trying my hand out at layering uh, this week as well. I'm uh, getting better at it. I don't do it all the time but um, I'm getting more uh, adventurous with it. So I'm going to use this week's script and um, start my column, my sidebar column with that. And oops, sorry, I hit the uh, my uh, tripod stand. So hopefully I don't do that again. Uh, it messes everything up. <laughs> so let me get this down. I have my Gidget girl in the in the room with me. So if you hear her, she just come over for some snuggles and love. She uh, This is morning, so she's usually napping. And I brought her upstairs with me because if she heard me up here talking, she might start barking because, you know, she's a chihuahua and that's what they do. They're born to bark. So and she does that quite a lot especially since she's the last dog in the house now. The other two we lost this year, so she's extra protective in the house. And uh, we love that about her. She's uh, definitely the boss. 
So let me put um, the tracker in the Monday to Sunday. And oh, no, I'm going to do first my habit trackers. So let me get those in because I always put those in first. And I put two in. I'm going to track my vitamins and my medication as always. I actually should change up my sidebar a little bit because I know I take these every day. So I really don't need to track them anymore. But, you know, they're good space fillers. Um, we all need, we all, I think a lot of us struggle with our sidebar. And I think I've got it down pat with uh, using these and the checklist box that I, um, Jesus, is kind of out of focus. Give me a sec. Let me see if I can get it. There we go. So um, I'm going to use the dinner's header before I do the Monday to Sunday box. I track my meals in here every week. I like to see what I'm eating and how bad I'm eating. <laughs> That's what I should track in my um, sidebar is my snacks. No snacks. Make sure that I'm not snacking at night because I do well for a while and then I go right back into it. And uh, we're all st struggling with the uh, COVID weight. Uh, what do they call it? The COVID-10. So... I've done that in some more, so it's getting to be the summer season, so I need to uh, fit into my summer clothes, so I have to start watching. So I'm going to take this girl with the flowers in her hair, and I'm going to put it at the bottom. Just going to make sure that I get it straight here. So I put that down. Usually I don't put it this early, but I knew that I was going to have a little bit of a different spacing there. Um, and boy, is that ever crooked. Yikes. So much for me uh, lining it up and getting it straight. So I'm just going to look for some washi chunks. Here they are. And I'm going to lay those down. I think I'm going to go do it to um, frame in a box, um, a little quarter, a little quarter box. Amy does the most fun little scallop boxes. So I'm going to put that in my sidebar and I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for, but it takes up some space. And it always looks nice when I have one. So let me get that in. I'm going to use this pretty, pretty um, pinky. Or no, I'm going to use the blue one. There. There. I think that sidebar looks really nice. It's all done. So let's get into the day-to-day. -day and i um, just going to clear up some of my mess. I had stickers everywhere from the kit. So... Um, I'm just going to keep back the stuff that I'm going to use, some layering pieces. And let's get started. I never know what to say. See, I'm struggling. I'm, I'm a little ahead of myself. So <laughs> I'm going to zoom you in and uh, so you can see a little bit better. And I pre-pulled to my sticker, so I've got it in a sticker book, a reusable sticker book. that has seen better days. I really need to get another one. I struggle. I don't know what this one, the stickers go stick down really hard and I struggle to get them off. And I've poked my tweezers through the page a few times trying to get them off because when you uh, do gel on your nails and nail tips, it uh, makes them really thick and I can't use my fingernails to get them off. <laughs> so that's a coffee cup from uh, Winterfield Studios and I use that to mark coffee and YouTube. So that's kind of a morning thing that I do. And uh, the laptop and the circle icons were from, or the circle dots were from Graceful Muse Papery and Pink Polka Dot Lily. And uh, that was to mark posting the June applications for my PGU sale. They've since closed. Um, all the shops have been chosen. So now I'm going to use a floral deco from the $2 Tuesday sheet from Simply Beautiful Plans. I like to use those to back icons. I think it just gives it a nice little touch. And I'm using a box um, from uh, Holly Linco to mark that I had an Amazon delivery. And next I'm going to, I watered the plants. Big chore in the house because uh, I have plants upstairs and downstairs. What do they call us now? Plant moms. So I've always loved my plants. So I'm going to use a flag from the kit, even though it matches that box at the top but I'm putting an icon over top of it so it won't be that bad. And it is a watering can from um, so, uh, white, <laughs> white antler. Oh, gosh. I forget the white antler planting or something like that. Jesus, really bad. I forgot the name. I'll have to uh, 
I'll link it below in the description box. But I should know this because I buy all of my icons from her, my um, hand drawn, my doodles, and I just love them. And what is the name? White Deer Stationery. Got it. <laughs> and then um, the YouTube um, icon is from um, Sticker Lovin. And then again, another piece of deco from the $2 Tuesday sheet. And then this is um, a little sticker from the deco sheet that goes with the kit. And it is a diary and it is to mark that I ordered my Bujo today or that day. Um, I've decided to get into bullet journaling. I've been watching um, YouTube videos of it and I'm really liking the way the spreads look. So I don't know if mine will be as pretty as the ones that uh, I see online, but I mean, I'm going to try it and see how it goes. So uh, wish me luck. See if I can be half as creative as the ladies here on YouTube are. And uh, so now I'm going to take a long flag from the kit and uh, I'm going to mark it with a laptop sticker again from Pink Polka Dot Lily and a swoosh from um, the Pink planner or Pretty Pink Co. And I'm going to mark doing some PGU work. I did a lot of sale work that day. It's keeping me busy with doing them once a month and I love it. I'm meeting a lot of great shop owners and a lot of great women and um, really uh, enjoying the community even more um, than I was before um, I started doing the sales. There's a great, great group of women that take part of in uh, the monthly. Some come back um, almost every month and then I get new shops each month and so you really do need to check it out. Um, uh, like I said, I do it monthly. This month is going to be, let me just check my planner, the 27th to the 30th of May and uh, so that's a Thursday to a Sunday and that is my May, May sale and we have 25 shops in that sale. So um, the bird feeder is from White Deer Stationery. That's to mention, uh, I'm marking how busy the feeders are. I started filling the feeders five times that day. And then another box from Holly Linco to mark another Amazon delivery. I, apparently I was very spendy the week before and bought a lot of stuff from Amazon. Now um, a circle, a foiled circle from Graceful Muse Papery and a uh, YouTube script or a sticker from Sticker Lovin and I'm going to be marking a YouTube binge. And now I'm going to be taking Mandala from Winterfield Studios. It is absolutely stunning. She does really pretty foil mandalas. Um, in fact, her shop, she's been doing a lot of um, layering foil stickers and uh, you should check her out. I'm a PR for the shop. And if you use the code Jody, you can get 20% off and you would get my freebie as well, which is foiled. Um, I didn't mention, oh yeah, I did mention that I PR for Simply Beautiful Plans. I uh, also plan uh, PR for um, Holly Linco and you can use my code Jody20 to save 20% in that shop. You saw me put down a piece of floral deco from the kit. Um, just to fill in that space. It was a pretty quiet day. I, uh, when I said YouTube binge, I really meant a YouTube binge. <laughs> now I'm using a uh, cooking pot from White Deer Stationery to mark that I meal planned on Wednesday morning. And then I'm going to use another piece of floral deco from the $2 Tuesday sheet from Simply Beautiful Plans and a shopping icon from Sticker Lovin to mark I did some grocery shopping that day. And I'm going to bring in a, um, an envelope sticker from Pink Polka Dot Lily to mark that I also went to the post office. And that usually goes hand in hand. Uh, I'm in a small town, so if you do one, you do the other. It takes forever to get from one section of the town to the other because you chat all the way through town. One of the perks of having a small town, even though it's all socially distancing right now because Ontario is again in a lockdown until June. So it's been a long haul. So now I'm marking a, um, some more PGU work. That is a laptop from Winterfield Studios. I'm going to be using some banner lights from a sheet from Simply Beautiful Plans. And that sheet is from Amy's Favorites. And that was included in the um, monthly mystery kit. And I'm honest, going to use it. I'm, here's the sheet that I took it from. 
I watch uh, Rachel from Gathered Plans and uh, um, a lot of other ladies use these and I don't think I did it justice. <laughs> it's the first time I've laid one down. So now I'm using another circle, foiled circle from Graceful Muse Papery. I also PR for that shop. You can use my code JOEYCAKE1 for 15% off in the shop. And a planner sticker from Sticker Lovin' to mark I did some planning that day. And now I'm going to be using a television icon from White Deer Stationery to mark I watched the series, Harlan Coben's series called The Innocent. And boy, was that ever good. I binged the show eight episodes in two days. <laughs> I was hooked. Um, you definitely need to give it a watch. It's, it's worth the watch. It is originally a Spanish movie. And uh, no, not Spanish, um, Dutch, I believe. And it is um, obviously uh, voiceovered in English. So that's another uh, envelope from Pink Polka Dot Lily to mark that I went to the post office yet again. And then I spent the day working in the garden and pulling weeds. And so I'm going to mark that. First, I'm going to use a sticker, a foiled cluster sticker from Winterfield Studios. These are absolutely stunning. Um, they're all in different shapes and I like the smallest shape on the sheet to put behind um, a larger icon sticker. I'm going to layer on top of that a seed um, box, uh, seedlings and a shovel from White Deer Stationery. This is my favorite way to work, mark working in the garden. Um, I just found these stickers and I ordered several sheets because I know that I'm going to run out of them. And then another foiled circle from Graceful Muse Papery and another laptop from Pink Polka Dot Lily to mark some more, yet again, more PGU work. And then I'm going to use one of these um, layering pieces from the kit. I just love these. These are new in Amy's kits. There's um, a beautiful pattern. It's kind of a squared off, like it's a square box, sort of octagon, little on the edges. Uh, hard to explain and it's got some foil on it. It's absolutely stunning. Amy, please make full sheets of these. They're gorgeous. And um, the planner again from Sticker Lovin to mark. Um, I pulled next week's kits. So currently the week that I'm on, um, I'm back planning. So anyways, I pulled the kits for this week. That is a divider, a swoosh divider from the Pretty Pink Co. And I have kind of have an awkward space, so I'm searching, even though you can't see it. Sorry, I'm on a screen. I'm looking for a piece of deco to fit in that spot. Uh, it's kind of an awkward spot. And I finally opt for a piece of floral deco off of the um, $2 Tuesday sheet from Amy's kit uh, from the shop. And uh, it's a long piece of deco. So it looked really pretty sideways. And you'll see that when I show you the um, finished spread when I do my wiggle at the end. So that will finish up Thursday. And then up to Friday, I'm using a, um, a foiled underlay box. And you have to see it. It's from Amy. It's new to the shop. They're absolutely stunning. So it is an underlay that you would put a quarter box on top of. And uh, it's one of my new favorite things to use. I just got the order in when um, I used it for this plan. So you'll see more to come. Look how pretty that is. And it just is such a nice backdrop to um, one of the lace boxes, again from the kit. And I'm going to be marking the MIC sale. So the Made in Canada sale started that day. It's a huge sale in Canada. If you haven't shopped it, you really should. Um, Erica, who runs the sale, does an amazing job, and uh, there was 46 Canadian shops in it, and every one of them had something wonderful to offer, and if you're in the States and you have a chance to shop the sh sale, you should, because it's Canadian dollars, and your American dollar goes much further. That's a piece of deco from the kit. Next, I'm going to put another envelope from Pink Polka Dot Lily, because yes, I went to the post office again, and another um, grocery icon because I did a quick grocery, grocery run. And once again, that's from Sticker Lovin'. You can see all the favorite shops that I use over and over again. Then another piece of floral deco from Simply Beautiful Plans and another bird feeder 
from white deer stationary, and that is to mark that the gross beaks have come back to the feeder, and it's a horrible name for them. It's because their beaks are large, but they are absolutely beautiful birds, and we're so thrilled that they're back at the feeders for the year. And that's a laptop from Winterfield Studios to mark um, shopping the sale. I spent far too much money, and uh, but I wait for this uh, once every season. And then I also used a TV from White Deer Stationery to mark that I watched The Handmaid's Tale. Oh my God, I am loving the season. It is amazing. So now this tissue box is from the Pastel Papery. That's a new to me shop. It's another Canadian shop. And that's to mark that my allergies were kicking my ass. They have been really bad. When you go outside, there's yellow pollen covering everything. I wear black um, slip-ons outside and they're completely yellow. <laughs> so they need to be washed. So then I took a piece of uh, a butterfly from Winterfield Studios. They're absolutely stunning. She has a butterfly sheet and a planner again from Sticker Lovin' to mark that I um, plant, of course. And then that's a piece of floral deco from Holly Lynn Co. to divide up that space because it really wasn't a very busy day. And then I'm going to take another one of those cluster box underlays from Winterfield Studios and another bird feeder from White Deer Stationery, and that's to mark that the orchard orioles came back to the feeder. And they're a type of oriole that live in the orchards and they always make a stop here in spring and they're tiny and they're red and black. They're gorgeous. So we're always happy when they come back to the feeders. So as you can see, there's a theme to this week. <laughs> Another box from Holly Lynn Co. to mark that my bullet journal was delivered that day. Then a, another TV from White Deer Stationery. I had a bit of a horror binge that night and watched Winchester. Um... I forget the movie I watched after that. This is a telephone from Winterfield Studios to mark I called my mom. It was Mother's Day, although I do have a weekly phone call with her, but that was special because it was Mother's Day and I wasn't able to see her. Then another piece of deco from the $2 Tuesday sheet and another uh, YouTube icon to mark that I had a YouTube binge. Then another piece of floral deco from the... Um, the the kit, the um, Amy's Favorites sheet that came with the kit. Oops, sorry. I went down to the bottom and you can't see it. I had an epic fail again. I'm putting down a decorative box from Pink Polka Dot Lily, or sorry, Pretty Pink Co. A floral corner from Simply Beautiful Plans. A swoosh from uh, the Pretty Pink Co. And a Mother's Day script from the Prairie Planner. And then... I'm going to mark with a piece of floral deco from the kit and another bird feeder. There we go. I brought you back in screen. Another bird feeder to mark that the hummingbirds were back. That's the last of our birds that come back for the season. So I'm very thrilled about that. We have uh, six hummingbird feeders up and they're usually hopping during the summer. Oops, I hadn't gotten that far yet. I'm ahead of myself. <laughs> I speedy Gonzales today. And uh, so now I'm going to mark the um, piece of floral deco. Nope, I'm not going to use that. That's the floral from the kit, another one of those boxes. They are stunning. And then that's the feeder to mark the hummingbirds come back. And then I'm going to mark above that with the piece of floral from the Amy's Favorite Sheets the um, just the space filler because I didn't have much going on in my planner that day it was a lazy day and so that is it I'm going to zoom you back out and show you the spread if you'd like to see it filled out um, please come and look up my Instagram it is Jody cake there and uh, I show you the spread all filled out with my pen this is how it looks. It is absolutely stunning. Here's a bit of a wiggle to show you off the foil. It is beautiful. Thank you if you watched this far. This is my longest video I've had in a very, very long time. Once again, here is my freebie. Jody Cake were in the notes for that. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.